I have never seen this movie, but I fell in love with this mask when I scrolled through it on TrickOrTreatStudios.com. This is the Candy Corn Jacob Atkins Halloween mask, and here is the review. Mr. Halloween. Jacob Atkins. I have no clue who Jacob Atkins is. I've never seen this movie. I've heard about it. I just never had the time to watch it. I only knew about it after scrolling through Trigger Tree Studios already, like I said. And as soon as I seen this mask, I fell in love with the detail, the color, the hair. It Honestly, it looks like a Michael Myers mask. The whole shape of its head, if you look again at it, it really does. It looks just like a Michael Myers mask. But the details in it is so amazing. The blood dripping from the forehead all the way down through the eyes to the cheek, through the jack o' lantern face, the nose. Look at the nose. How awesome. The detail in this mask is insane. And guess who? Justin Mayberry himself, the guy that did almost all the Michael Meyer masks, sculpted this one also. That man is so talented. The only thing I don't like about this mask is the front of the hair. You could see the glue. It's really tough to hide it with the dark hair that it has. But you can see right there, right in the front of the, the forehead where the hair starts. It's like a grayish tint. That's all hot glue gun glue. Kind of kills it a little bit. But this mask is a superior mask. It fits beautiful. It's thin, but good quality. And the colors are so brilliant. I absolutely love this mask. I still have to watch the movie though. So I really can't give you a... A face of the person rating. But this is superior. I'm going to give this a 9 out of a 10. And it could have got a little bit better. Maybe 9.5 out of 10. If it wasn't for that. The forehead. Showing the glue marks on the hairline. I mean there's really not, not much for me to say. Because I haven't seen the movie. But this mask is awesome. I highly recommend it. It's definitely something cool. It's a different color to put into your collection. Most masks are boring and white like the Michael Myers. And there's a lot of greens. You don't get too many oranges. Besides, if you look behind me, you got the Halloween 3 pumpkin. You got the green and the white. But this, this mask is awesome. It's actually, I call it badass. I highly recommend getting this mask. Now, I'm looking at this mask a little bit more, and it's even getting more and more better. There's so much details that go into it. Look at the nose. It's actually got the nose looks like it was chopped off. Clearly, I'm trying to make it look like a jack o' lantern head, but this is supposed to be like, in my eyes, I haven't seen the movie. Uh, could you guys let me know in the comments? If this is supposed to portray a face or it's an actual mask he wears in the movie. Um, there's so many details. It, it actually almost looks like a Freddy Krueger mask with all the... Just look at all the dents in the face. It's just amazing detail. That's so beautiful. Even all the way down here he gets down to it. There's so much discoloration. There's dents like... I really need to know if this is a mask or it's supposed to betray his skin. That would be really helpful. Please let me know. All right, but that's the review. I, 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 uh, again, the hair is like if a girl gets her hair straight, and that's just, it's awesome. Almost like Jesse from Full House's hair. <laughs> but that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mr. Halloween.